Hey, sunny and 75, that sounds fantastic. Well, eating right is so hard to do sometimes, but just because you want to get healthy doesn't mean you have to give up flavor or all of your favorite foods. In today's Faces and Places of the Panhandle, New Channel 7's Nisa Wilkins spends some time in the kitchen with a Panama City registered dietitian who assures her clients they do not have to give up chocolate. No, people think we would never eat dessert and we love to cook. No. Registered dietitian nutritionist Marsha Pell knows people groan when they hear her title. People do have this really negative connotation of registered dietitians, like we're going to take away their favorite food. However, she's hoping to change that image. I love, I love what I do because, I mean, I've had so many people say, I can't believe I can eat a potato. 15 minutes. I don't take anything away. I don't really tell people what they have to eat. Pell says everyone is different, meaning they have different nutrition needs. How I like to work, because this is the only way I know that it really works, is to talk to the person that I'm working with. What, what are their goals? What are their concerns? What do they like to eat? And just start with where they are. She says most diets are just a bunch of rules that work in the short term, but are just not sustainable in the long term. We talk about changes that we can make to get them to the goals that they want. And we're not putting you on a strict diet that you can't follow. Some diets advise people to shop around the perimeter of the grocery store and stay away from anything packaged. That doesn't make any sense as far as the reality, because I want to get convenient foods. I'm too busy. Pell admits she doesn't like to cook. Where is my teaspoon? So she looks for the easy way out, which doesn't always mean eating out. One of my favorite sources for recipes are ge is generally dietitians that do like to cook because they're, they're very realistic, quick and easy and healthy and good. Many of the recipes include ingredients we usually already have in our cabinets. Today I'm going to do a black bean potluck salad. Beans are a great source of fiber, low fat, and have protein. This recipe uses a grain called quinoa. There may be a question for some about what's better, fresh or organic. And there's not really any evidence that organic is healthier. It's a farming method, and they use different pesticides, but they do use pesticides. Pell is also a certified uh, diabetes care and education okay. specialist. I work with people with diabetes and weight issues, cardiovascular problems, chronic kidney disease. The smell was so enticing that when Pell offered to share her dinner... Are you hungry? Well, I didn't want to be rude. The flavor is fabulous. Isn't it good? In Panama City. So I really love it. Nisa Wilkins, News Channel 7. Faces and Places of the Panhandle is sponsored by DePure Environmental. Now, this doesn't mean you can have three giant platefuls of greasy fried foods. Darn. But it does mean you don't have to give up your chocolate and other favorites. We'll have Pell's information on our website, wjhg.com.